Alrighty, so I thought I'd do a quick update on uh, this Asus Memo Pad HD7 that I bought on eBay. I bought it probably four months ago, and I actually got two of them pretty much at the same time. And uh, they both had broken digitizers, and I have a video on my channel um, about uh, changing the digitizer. It's not really a how-to, but just uh, basically a video showing that I did it, really. And anyway, as you can see, the digitizer's working fine. The tablet's working uh, perfectly fine. And I've had no problems with it. The second one that I bought, I actually gave to my grandson, and he has a buttload of games on it. And his is working perfectly fine, too. So let's, let's just quickly... Uh, where is it going to the settings? And about the tablet. And I don't know if you guys will be able to actually see any of this but there's the model number it's running uh, Android 4.2.2 and that's pretty much it and if I click on system update oh yeah I'm not connected to the internet but anyway it always says your system's up to date so I think 4.2.2 is probably the best I'm gonna get so what I did was I went on eBay and even though I'm perfectly happy with this and it does everything I need it to do, I was just surfing around on eBay and I happened to find a couple more of these. One's exactly the same and the other one is a slightly newer one. So what I'm planning on doing is uh, possibly using the newer one and given this to my son so let's switch over to the computer and I'll show you the two that I bought and uh, the descriptions and the prices and all that stuff so now we're on eBay and this is one of the listings as you can see I bought it for 425 and that's Canadian so that would be probably 550 maybe six dollars American the only crappy part about it is the shipping was kinda expensive uh, these tablets don't weigh very much I guess the box is a little bulky that they have to send it in but um, anyway still I think it's a pretty good deal so let's uh, just take a quick look at the picture I don't know if you can really tell from uh, the screen cap or not but <clears throat> but the tablet does have a broken digitizer and I don't think you can really yeah you really can't see any of the things they're talking about on the back but if we scroll down here I'll just uh, stop at the specs and you guys can pause the video if you want to see those and here's the description uh, first we'll look at what's included so basically there's nothing included just the OEM box and the tablet all the accessories are missing so that's not a big deal I have all that stuff anyway uh, the item description or item details uh, says that the tablet is sold as is because the screens cracked and the digitizer doesn't work but if we go to the other one that I bought the slightly newer bigger tablet uh, this is also sold as is and there are the specs and you guys can like I said pause the video so the specs are just a little bit better and I'm hoping that uh, it will update to higher than 4.2.2 which it might not but if it doesn't no big deal uh, same deal with this one there's nothing included except for the box and the tablet but if you look here at the item details 
uh, it says exactly the same thing and this one they have uh, turned on so you can see that the screens actually not cracked the digitizer is but the screens not so I'm hoping that that's the same in this case that they say that the screens cracked but they mean the digitizer so now let's uh, just copy and paste uh, the model number and we'll just take a look at how much a digitizer is for this for this uh, tablet I've already bought and like I said I bought digitizers for the two that I previously uh, won on an auction on eBay before so let's just take a look so yeah you can get it a tiny bit cheaper Basically, uh, I spent $17 for each digitizer last time, and, uh, well, basically right around the same price. So, let's just uh, take a quick look at how much the digitizer is going to be for this uh, other tablet. I've already looked these up, so I basically know I looked it up before I before I bought the tablets alrighty so let's do lowest price <coughs> and right around twenty dollars so you could probably maybe take a chance that you're gonna get a better quality digitizer and spend a bit more money but I bought the cheapest one I could find on eBay for the tablet that I am actually using right now and it works perfectly fine so I would probably do the same thing and even though this is a white uh, digitizer and the black ones are a bit more expensive well quite a bit more like almost ten dollars more expensive I would probably just buy the white digitizer because uh, I don't really care as long as the thing works. So anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. And if it turns out that this tablet does actually have a broken LCD, it's not that big a deal. I'll just uh, put it on a shelf and if I need parts, I'll have one for parts. So uh, I think that's pretty much it. So if you have a, a comment, um, you think that's a good deal, you think it's not, leave a comment, like the video, check out the channel, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. So anyway, I'm going to go and uh, play around with my tablet. So I'll talk to you guys later and have a good one.